okay in this tutorial what we're going to do is look at creating uh, this coffee pot well this abstract version of a coffee pot but uh, this coffee pot out of um, curves and surfaces within Maya so using NURBS I'm going to build this surface up out of curves which will then create surfaces from so let's get straight into this I've already uh, loaded in the image planes for this it's just one actually and I only really needed it in one viewport but just in case um, I needed to do the spout in a different one and just put in both of these uh, that is just through in any of the viewports uh, we can just go to view image plane import image uh, we can just uh, import in I'm not going to do that because that's going to take a second okay um, but basically then when this is selected I'm just going to the outliner uh, we can load in our image into that okay so just going back to our full panel view I'm just going to go onto this view uh, press space and let's start working on this now I'm going to zoom into this a bit which makes it a bit easier uh, this is giving me my scale. Uh, I've actually scaled this image plane out so it is this scale as well. Um, so doing it 5.5 centimeters to this will be 5.5 centimeters in reality, or there and thereabouts. Um, so let's start with our curve tool. So let's create CV curve tool. I'm just going to go into the options for this. Just make sure this is on the uh, reset tool. Uh, three cubic and let's start from the center there so when I get to the corner uh, I'm just going to stop just before the corner and just to get a bit more control of this curve I'm just going to click point another point and then maybe even just a final point on that before I then go up if you don't have enough points on this you're not going to create a tight enough curve uh, so let's just go up not quite up to the apex again on this corner I'm just going to zoom into this I want this to come up and have a few more points to be able to get a bit of control over that And then to end it, just press enter. We've got our curve. Now it's come up a bit there, but that's fine. Because what we can now do is go into this, right click, and go into our control vertices points. And just start moving these about as necessary. If you don't like any of these points, uh, you don't think they're there for any particular reason, um, you can always click on a point and press delete and it will rebuild the line up. Um, I'm going to keep that point actually. Just going to drag these out a little bit. Maybe this down. Just to really tighten that corner up. Okay, and there we have our first um, line. There we go. Create that center as well. So I start at the center point again. I've lined this plane up to the center. Uh, so this is our revolve point. This is what we're going to use for this. So I'm going to ro revolve around the center point. Uh, makes everything a bit neater, a bit easier to work with. So we'll grab this edge, make sure we're in object mode, grab that, uh, go to our surfaces, so just making sure you're in the surfaces module here, surfaces, revolve, and there we have our vars, okay, uh, remember if you're not seeing this in shaded, just press 5 and you're in shaded mode. So, 
what we want to do with this now um, is actually uh, let's come out of this. Just we want to create an opening on this for the spout to come out of. Nerbs are brilliant for this kind of thing. This would be difficult with polygons. Not unachievable, but it would be a bit trickier. So, what we need is a shape to actually uh, project onto this surface. I'm just watching where the seam line is to this. So this particular thing will have a seam line. Uh, this particular object will have a point. Um, why is it not? Ah, there we go. Down the center of this, okay, which is the seam. So when we project our curve um, onto this, we don't want to do it over the seam because that's going to break up the curve in the middle. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, essentially, what I would do with this is uh, just in the front viewport, maybe the side viewport actually. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, no, it would be the front viewport. Uh, I can create a NURBS primitive and just create a circle. I should have already created one. I can scale that out. You see it's pointing upwards right now, so just looking along our axes this way, which is where we want to rotate it. This is on the X. Let's grab this, rotate on the X at uh, 90 degrees. bring this kind of so we can see it there and just scale it up pretty much to where I want it to be I've actually put oh, drag it in the middle I've actually put a reference on this um, just on one half of the symmetry side of where I want the opening to be so it's just a case of lining up roughly with that Okay, and that would be my opening. So now we've got this point. Just check on this. Okay. Now we've got this point, we can grab this. We can click on our surface. And the main thing we need to do with this is actually set to the right viewport. Well, it's a set to a viewport where we're clearly projecting this onto the surface in the direction they want to do it. So if we're going to do this now, this will be projecting onto just this part of the surface here where we can see this overlap. So I'm just going to make sure I'm in the front viewport before I do this. So uh, make sure you click your shape first, then the surface, have the viewport right, and then we can go to Edit NURBS, Project Curve on Surface. And when that's done, it's actually taken that curve and it's put it onto the surface of this object now. So we have that with a curve on there. We do have one at the other side, which, as I said, is over the split line. Um, that's not a problem. We can just um, just deselect to the other side. Uh, just click on this, press delete. Click on this one, press delete. Grab, delete those. Now the beauty of this uh, is that this is still defined by this original shape, as with other NURBS uh, surfaces. So when I move this about, and see it actually projects that curve onto a different point. If we scale this, it scales that down. So you have a lot of control over um, how this works. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is actually cut the hole out of it. So uh, I'm going to grab this surface, which is our intersection, our projection on there. Um, Let's go into Edit NURBS again, and this time we're going to use the Trim Tool. The Trim Tool, just a bit awkward to use, um, it's just knowing where to select. Basically we have our two different parts of this object. We have our original surface, and we have our projected curve on there. Uh, what I need to do is just click on any one of the points of the surface that I want to keep. So in this uh, instance I want to keep the coffee pot, so I'll just click on one of the points, and then press Enter. And what that's done is actually created a hole in this object through this projected curve. Still, this works, so we can still go in and scale this if we need to. Uh, move this around, 
we have it on the wrong side we can rotate this around we can actually drag it around in space a um, lot of control over this we still have our original curve on this as well so let's just go over to our, our outliner again um, our public curve one maybe curve two uh, d -d 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 these should really be named Ah, I have some curves hidden. Um, let's try curve three. There we go. Okay. Uh, so let's just grab this one, and we can still click on this and click on our control verts for this. It's not for the line itself. Um, just make sure we're over the line. Control verts. And we can still click on these points and move these around, and you see everything updates itself. And that's a great thing about nerves. Let's deselect that. Uh, let's go into object mode. Come out of that. Click back on our surface. So what we want to do with this now is actually use this curve to start projecting out uh, out our spout um, throughout the so from the base of the teapot right to the end of the spout. And it's a good good place to start. We can't just use this curve right now because this new one actually has a curvature on it. So it curves around this surface now. It's a, a different shape. But we can grab this curve from this. So if you just click on our surface, right click and click on Trim Edge. Remember, Trim is the tool we just used. We can just click on the edge now. And then I'm going to go into Edit Curves and Duplicate Surface Curves. Grab that. So this created a brand new version of this curve. From there, which I will give a name now, uh, which I'll call um, CR uh, CV curve. And I'll call this spout opening. Oh, well. Okay, just to um, get rid of a bit of the stuff on this, what I'm going to do is grab this surface now and I'm actually going to delete the history on it. So delete by type history and get rid of that. This is no longer bound to these curves um, which is okay for my purposes obviously if you did want to go in and edit those that would be problematic so I can just pull that out to the side not worry about it now. So we have our new curve on this okay and this is going to be our starting point for our curve I'm going to quickly just create another nurse primitive curve a circle. Let's grab that, bring it up. Let's just scale this just over here somewhere. Scale this out and let's bring this in. And what I want this to be, let's come back into my four views. I'm just going to bring this down and just rotate it out um, just on the x axis. I've actually figured out uh, roughly where the center line is, so I'm just centering that on that point. Um, I'm just making sure my rotation on y and z is zero on this, just my rotation on my x moving. And let's just scale this down as well. So I'm scaling this down. To the thickness of the spout at this point. Uh, just because of the way I've done the reference images here, I'm just going to drag this out. Okay, to kind of roughly where it may be. I'm going to cheat a bit in a second. Um, now, if we to actually use these points to start creating a, a surface between these, these are actually different resolutions now. If I just go into this one and right click and go into our control verts, uh, we should actually have eight points in this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go. If we look at our new curve that we've created, go into control verts on this, we've got a lot more points on this. 
and this can be tricky to work with in terms of re-editing this um, and also creating curved surfaces between using from this many points to those few points. Uh, we can fix this, so let's go into our object mode again let's grab that curve. So I'm going to go into edit curves and I'm going to go into this tool rebuild curve and let's click on the settings box. Uh, what I want to do with this, I'm going to keep the parameter range, uh, this is all at its defaults um, oh, we can reset the settings. Um, okay, I want to keep the CVs. So I want to keep the. No, I don't. I'm going to keep the ends. I'll keep the uh, everything else as it is, uniform. The number of spans is the one thing I want to change. So this is what I want to match to my circle up here. So we need this set to eight. Okay. And then we'll apply. So now what that's done with this. Shall we click our spout opening there? Okay, there we go. Right click on this and go to our control verts. We have the right amount of points in there. Actually, set them a bit odd on that. Um, let's just undo that. Grab that again. Going to match the uh, let's match the knots or the curvature of this. Let's match the knots. No, no, we're doing it to be uniform. Um. Okay. So now this is the same amount of points. Uh, just a bit need a bit easier to fix. Let's grab this. If we wanted to on this, we could just take these two points. Let's grab this one to this one and we could do a loft surface which really isn't going to give us anything that we need on this so what I've actually done with this is created more of these circles um, so I've just duplicated these control D shifted them rotated them and gone down the path of the teapot spout so let's just grab this and this and just delete them for now and let's just uh, bring in my other layer so I have it see my original circle is just slightly different uh, in fact, if I uh, keep this one, no, no, I'll get rid of it. Uh, but my uh, my uh, original circle is slightly different. My openings on this, so let's just grab these. Actually, we're in object mode. And just these, and I will grab this one as well. I'm just going to move these forward a little bit and then just down a little bit. And I just might need to resize just this first shape. What are the inside of that? Which actually, yeah, I'll keep that one. Okay. So let's do this then. So with a loft, I, I need to ignore this uh, one in the middle. Uh, we could use that for an extrusion, but I'm going to use not use that. So I'm going to grab right from the end this first one, and then shift click to select the other points. Now I'm just being careful with this because what I've actually got is something that goes inside of this. So I'm going to click to the outer point, and then click on final point okay so then we can do our surfaces loft we actually uh, can loft that shape out there are a few tweaks we'd need to make to this um, and we can still go into our original curves for all of this as well so let's just grab one of these curves you find sometimes just rotating them or just scaling them up moving them a little bit um, okay so you can tweak around with that as much as you want uh, that is tied in so uh, again if you wanted to get rid of that you could go in and delete your history uh, we could push this in still a little bit sticking out a little bit there we could could mess about with the shape a bit more um, but that's essentially it of course you can do the same for the handle on this you could create 
some points on the end you could bring this round extrude it round if you uh, are not wanting to work around this seam we could have projected from the side instead and have our handle and our spout openings are on full surfaces there um, but that's a quick introduction to um, some of the uses of NURBS. Have a play around with them and experiment. Okay, thank you.